It's about 7.30. So I was shooting up at uh, Thunder Cove. A beautiful sunrise uh, scene up there. And I was heading back to where I was staying, not far from the Confederation Bridge. And I do know that this is a potential shooting location. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to familiarize myself with the area, check it out in case that uh, an opportunity presents itself. So actually, I have actually was walking around and looking at all the blue tones uh, in the sky here at the moment. And I thought, you know what? The light's still pretty good. We'll see how this turns out. But I'm here. Yeah, it's not the golden hour light. But it's a nice subdued light. So I do need to work fast because I don't want it to disappear on me. Because uh, well, I'm not exactly familiar with the weather patterns here and what's going to happen. So, But uh, what turned out to be a little scouting uh, mission, turning into a little photo mission. So I've currently set up a long exposure here. You can see it's a portrait orientation of the Confederation Bridge. But you should be able to see here in a second. It's a 25 second long exposure because I'm trying to make sure the water is nice and smooth. So you can see that. So that's the composition I've went with. Uh, now I'm gonna change my composition. The light is getting a little brighter, obviously. Uh, so actually I do have my big stopper, 10 stopper, and a three stop neutral density filter on the camera to help smooth out the, uh, the water. Just finished uh, shooting here at the Confederation Bridge. It's eight o'clock. Uh, I think I got some nice shots here, even though it's uh, you know after sunrise. So sunrise, I think, was about quarter to six. But some nice blue tones. It uh, just the way the cloud coverage is and the sun. Uh, kind of some high clouds diffusing the light a little bit more. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to try to come back here, whether it's on this trip or not. Uh, probably at sunrise, uh, but we'll see. It is not far from where I'm staying on this trip. That's a relative's, uh, oh, all right, a relative's cottage here. So I'm just being super lazy. I only have a camera bag strap over one shoulder carrying my tripod here. But just give you a quick 360. It's obviously Confederation Bridge in the background, an old lighthouse that was, is no longer used. Uh, apparently it was automated, I think in 1957, if I recall correctly, but things were shut down after the, uh, the bridge was built. Yeah, it's a nice little area back here. So it, uh, so this is, Borden PEI, but 
the bigger landmark or the best landmark is the Confederation Bridge right behind me. So it's a very accessible location. In fact, as you can see, there's a boardwalk leading up from the parking lot. So it's very accessible. So I gotta switch, because I was cheating with this. Uh, it's very accessible. Uh, so if you are mobility challenge, you can definitely get around here. Uh, and you can probably go easily get up to where I was photographing. Uh, the train is, although it's grass, it's relatively smooth and flat. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then I'm gonna do some more uh, scouting. Uh, gonna do some location scouting. There we go. Uh, a little later today. Cheers. <laughs>